You came in a few days ago, uh, gave us a stool sample. I have the results here, and I do have some serious concerns. I feel like I know some things that mainstream doctors definitely don't know because I've researched some unconventional things. So, you know, yeah, I feel like I know a little bit more. So as you can see, you have a type of E. coli called O157. That's a hemorrhagic E. coli uh, that, given unfortunate circumstances, can cause um, bloody colitis. If mixed with certain antibiotics, can cause renal failure, kidney failure, lead to dialysis, uh, kidney transplant, and even death. Our bodies normally have certain strains of E. coli in it. This one is, is abnormal, and it's probably secondary to the raw meat that you've been ingesting. So I'm under the impression that we, we normally have E. coli in our intestines, Absolutely. right? So is this something that is, is normally found in, in our intestines, or? This one isn't. Oh, this this, one, this okay. one isn't. This is one that you typically don't see. You shouldn't avoid medical therapy if you have pneumonia, if you have sure. you know, a sinus infection, you need antibiotics. By all means, you got to do it. Yeah. But you just got to be careful of the mixture of the two, because okay. bad things can happen. And unfortunately, all it takes is, is one serving of chicken, one serving of beef, one serving of neurologic tissue, brains, eyeballs, uh, that could tip him over the edge and have serious complications. So with this E. coli 0157, if it's in someone's body, does it ever go away on its own? You know, it certainly could, but when it reaches that concentration, it becomes dangerous. I'm not surprised at all that they found something. What do you mean? Well, I just, I eat the most bizarre diet of all time. Like, of course, I'm probably going to have some um, unusual strains of bacteria that they don't normally see in people's stools, you know? Um, my recommendation to you uh, would be to avoid the raw meat, avoid the organ tissue, the brains, um, the raw beef and chicken. That can put you at risk. I appreciate that. And uh, I'm probably going to continue eating raw meats. And uh, if I start feeling bad, I'll come in for a visit. But until then, you know, I'll just probably keep on trucking. You know, one thing I try to do with all my patients is be transparent. As long as I know where you stand and you know where I stand, I think we're in a good position. <sighs> my goal moving forward is just to keep eating my uh, food and uh, staying healthy. All right, you let me know if you need anything. All right, man, appreciate Very it. Nice to meet you. You too. I'm going to live a happy life. I'm going to continue to do this another, you know, four years, 10 years, 20 years, the rest of my life, and uh, that'll be it.